Hey everybody, welcome to another review. I uh, realized that I haven't done a Norton 360 review in a while, and I decided to skip doing a final review on version 4, which has been out for a while, and decided to jump right into the Norton 360 version 5 beta. So I went online and grabbed a copy of it, and I installed it, and I updated it about three times already. I also rebooted to make sure that if any of the updates needed a reboot that was done so we'll double check again as you can see it's fully updated and uh, this is what it looks like if I remember right what 2000 or what version 4 looked like it looked a little bit different but not much more different it seems like they've improved some of the graphics but it's still roughly the same program so you got different things you have your little activity map here um, safe web so you can enter and check a site online family you have to download another pro another uh, another I think it's not another program or I think it might be a program plus you use a website to track how your family uses your computer um, some of the other things you know you have PC tune-up which I really never cared for personally which is why I'm not a fan of the you know, Total Suites 360, Northern 360, and you know, all the Total Suites and things like that, because I can get better secondary programs that do a much better job than this, and most of them are free, so I don't have to pay for it. It's got a backup module, some identity protection, and you know, the standard PC protection. It flips around now if you want to look at some of the performance aspects. It's got different settings, which I'll leave in stock, but you can see it's got silent settings, uh, antivirus settings, all sorts of different things here that it's set up for. So now, let's do some tests. Why not, right? We're here. These are some of the same links, and I've added a couple ones that I used in my other test that I did tonight, specifically to replace some of the ones that weren't working. So let's start out with, the, with this first one here. Okay, it looks like it's analyzing it. So we will continue while it does that one. Okay, so I found that one, and I found the second one. And I found that one, and if you want, you can always click on View Details. And that will open up a site, that will open up a new window where you can look at where it came from, some of the details on it, medium risk file, and what it did with it. Oh, and I just realized that I have that one in there twice. Well, whoops. Know if that one's working anymore. So we'll move on to the next one. Okay, it looks like I found that one. Okay, and I found that one also.
reputation. Okay, looks like that one tried to do something. So far I haven't gotten anything from Norton DNS. And I know it it gets installed, the DNS gets changed over when you install, well at least when you install the Norton products from now. Maybe because this is a beta, it hasn't gotten installed yet. So. suspicious.cloud and if you click on that it will take you to a definition of what it means where it was observed and you know different information about it looks like that one's not working anymore It was serving malware earlier, but, or maybe, no, that one wasn't, that was an add-on one, so maybe it never worked. These last ones I never had a chance to test to see how well they work. And let's try the last one here. see what that one was another reputation one okay looks like that one's not working so I'm gonna open up uh, 360 here and we're gonna do a scan and we're gonna do a full system scan we're not gonna do a reputation scan or scan Facebook wall and that type of stuff. You know what? I, uh, nah. That's just for trust level. That's alright. We'll, we'll just do a regular full scan. There we go. So I will pause the video and I'll be back when this is done scanning. Okay, so I finished scanning here and it says I found three risks and fixed three of them. So let's see, they were just tracking cookies. So nothing real important. So it says I found zero. And I would suspect that there's zero because it looks like it stopped everything. So now I'm going to restart and I will be back after I run CCleaner and Malwarebytes and get you the results. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning and it didn't find anything. So lastly, I'm gonna do a scan with Hitman Pro and I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so uh, Hitman Pro finished scanning and it didn't find anything. Final thoughts. Um, well, no, it seems like every new version of Norton is a little bit of an improvement over the last version. Um, Norton 360 version 4 felt a little clumsy to me. It's kind of hard to say why. It just had this weird feeling of just some, it was something was a little clumsy, felt a little slow to respond sometimes, not only to threats, but to the user interface too. It seems like they've gotten a lot of that taken care of. So I, uh, I hope that they keep building on it, and it seems that in the last at least, I don't know, couple of years, they've, they've been improving. So we'll see where it takes them from now on. Uh, but we do know that they still have some weaknesses. You know, as much as they want to say that they have a good security suite, that doesn't 
involve the user at all and they do but to a point because there's still a, a bunch of malware that I you know you can sneak by this so hopefully as they progress into building their suite they'll improve their zero day abilities more and more because it seems to me that's where everything's going it's it's either all or it's going to become sooner or later you can stop a lot before you have signatures or you won't be able to stop pretty much anything until it's too late so that's it for this review I think I got two more to do and then I'm gonna slowly start up uploading them online so everybody take care and have a good night